What's going on guys? Matt Manduke here and I am flying from my mother's backyard because I was on home time on this day and I believe that was the uh, 3rd of July before I went to go pick up my rental car. And so I launched and of course my stepdad was interested in it so there is a little bit of uh, unprofessional flight that goes on in this video because I was actually paying most attention to the drone itself but my stepdad was involved so you know it is what it is and at this point I'm trying to figure out how high I need to get to get over the trees because well as you can see they're they're kind of up there like I said I'm a little bit distracted because my stepdad's involved and I'm not saying he's a bad guy in fact uh, a lot, well a lot of people end up getting curious about the drone and uh, ask so what we're looking at now is actually the forest or what used to be a forest behind my mom's house where I actually grew up and now it's not a forest anymore because as you can see it's tidal in the river and you can see where they broke down the barrier there and the in the uh, where the trees go down and that's where the river is actually able to to flow in and there's actually a couple spots where they did that and that uh, kind of destroyed my parents backyard but now you're over the Maurice River and as you can see it's well it's a river and I go kind of far in this direction off to the left you can see uh, that's the edge of the peak property which is a little bit further down and I go even further and I know you guys have seen this river before because I flew uh, well I flew the spark I had from the pretty much the same spot that I launched it the uh, Mavic today but I also had flown the spark from the Mars River Bluffs and so you've seen a lot of this but the Mars River Bluffs are a little further down uh, and the Mavic gets a lot better range than the spark did so I wasn't able to get this far away from flying from my mother's house uh, but you can see there's some power lines there that I did not notice before but thankfully I'm above them anyway and uh, at this point, like I said, I'm showing my stepdad where I'm at, and at, I'm at the end of Falzer Road, which is the water treatment plant. And I think I show him that there's a zoom on it while I'm sitting here. But yeah, I didn't realize that they had a solar field behind the water treatment plant, but that's actually fairly cool. And then, yeah, I show him, I'm like, look, I'm like 200 feet in the air, and I can zoom in to the point where it looks like I'm a lot closer and after that it's like well i'll fly up a little bit there's a guy walking around there but i don't even think he knows the drone because well the water treatment plant itself makes a lot of noise and i fly up well that's Fowler road that i'm flying over now and i used to have friends that lived on Fowler road when well when i was a little kid and those power lines you see there that's uh, peak avenue and i used to have friends there as well when I was a little kid and some of them might maybe watch this I don't know and then I'm headed back toward well where my mom's house is but that's not actually where I go immediately I do fly over it before the end of the video uh, but that's per request of my stepfather where I'm flying now is well the patch of green there is going to be where the uh, junkyard used to be and so I fly out that way a little bit and I head from here I'm gonna head toward the road um, but right now that's that used to be a junkyard and thankfully it's not anymore because it's not as you know it's prettier now because it's just a grassland because they cleaned it out and then I head out here and well what you can see is to the left that building is a place that makes wetsuits and that's the block between 2nd and 3rd Street in Millville and you can see my drone parked or yeah my drone you can see my truck parked on the corner of white on second street and i actually end up moving it after this flight actually immediately after this flight uh but not during the flight because you really can't do that you can see the row houses on second street and i think it's fairly interesting you can see who has a pool and actually quite a few of them have pools which is cool because you wouldn't know that from the road and then this is when I get the request to come back and you can this is the neighborhood that I grew up in and yeah there's only really six houses on the end of this dead end and 
and you can see my stepdad's pickup truck and my mom's car and you can see the tops of their house and that's where I'm showing them that that's the tops of their house and then the people across the street spot top of their house too uh, you can kind of see their property and down in the bottom of that ditch there there's a whole lot of bamboo that you really can't see but from there I head out and you can see well the basketball court and a park that has been updated since I was a little kid but I used to play there quite a bit and they just recently cleared that lot so I'm assuming they're building there and then we head over toward Garfield which uh, you can see some solar panels on that house there which is pretty cool and then you can see some solar panels on that house as well which is also pretty cool and most of those people seem to have pools and then I head over to what used to be Ball Foster and now it's well apparently a shipping company because they have a bunch of warehouses they have a drop yard they you know they have trailers and I'm able to fly over it all and that and I think people who you know don't do the job that I do and I mean I know what this stuff looks like but the people who live in Millville and don't do the job that I do might be kind of curious about what it looks like in here because it used to be a glass factory with big huge stacks and I would have loved to have had a drone when that was there but I didn't think I don't even think that drones existed when that was there and it was before smartphones when they tore it down but it was, I kind of didn't watch them tear it down it would have been awesome to do it from a drone though right but you can see there's a lot of swift and I see what looks like a few Schneiders and you know no Werner there but that's okay uh, it doesn't much matter to me I may or may not stay with this company and that's something I'm kind of thinking about now because I'm not getting as many miles as I should be but as I head out you can kind of see that you know there's some extra buildings and that then they have another drop yard and then you know where the guard shack is and all that and across the street here yeah there's a big warehouse on the other side that was part of ball foster as well that was like their shipping side and that's more or less what they do with that there that's the railroad tavern that's on the corner there it has that big white truck next to it that's a bar that's probably the cheapest beer in town and then here we're between second and third street uh on well still in south millville but you can also see the uh, little league fields on the left and you can see the high rises ahead of it and i'm going to turn around in a second because i start getting a bad connection but you can almost see the riggins on the corner that i used to work at when well back when i posted videos from there i actually post videos from inside of their their restroom while i was taking a crap but there's uh the church that i believe my mom and stepdad got married at and then that's an old folks home that we're looking at right now. I'm starting to head back, so like I said, I get that message. And where I'm at now, actually not that blue house, but the house on the other side of that, that was actually where my cousins, my aunt and uncle, well, my cousins grew up, my aunt and uncle lived there. And that dirt lot on the other, like there's truck parking right there, as you can see, and that's like kind of open and I could have parked there, but I didn't park there. Cause I wouldn't want to be next to a bunch of people that were you know moving in and out but I think it's cool that there is truck parking in Millville because there hadn't been truck parking in Millville for a very long time and now that there is and now I see that there's that car wash there and I'm hoping that somebody's gonna buy that car wash because they got it blocked off you can see the blocks there and you can't get into it I'm hoping somebody's gonna block it knock all that crap down put up some diesel pumps all right so where that flatbed trailer is I ended up parking next to that for the rest of my home time because like I said I moved my truck immediately after that that's where I sat there's a little bit of marsh behind me and then behind that is also a row of strip houses and I have some friends that used to live in the end when back when I was doing the property preservation thing the last house in that row on, on our right now was where they stayed at and I stayed there too and uh, now I'm coming around and that big brick building there that's actually where I went to school when I was a little kid and from kindergarten to fifth grade and uh, well it's summertime now so clearly you're not going to see that and that playground that they have there they didn't have when I was a kid they put that in after I was probably graduated from high school and I, then I head over to another neighborhood where I used to have friends because once you got into school you start you know meeting other people and I can see some solar panels on that house there and I believe I know those people um, and I'm just kind of stretching the drones wings in 
every direction that I really can that has any kind of notable interest and this is Weidel and uh, Six Smith and, did, did, and you can see the new development there where that's very built up as opposed to this neighborhood that I'm actually flying over it's not as built up and has more trees because that's older and uh, well I'd rather have property than a, a house that's you know still got the same amount of bedrooms but doesn't have any property because all the rooms are huge I'd rather have property where you know you can do things outside like have barbecues and and you know have friends over and do things than have just a really big house but that's just me and I'm not going to be buying a house in this neighborhood ever in my life because I don't see any purpose to it but yeah now I'm flying back you can see my truck and you kind of get an idea of where I parked it at originally and that was well so I could sneak home and and maybe my mom would see me before she came in she actually did but like I said I moved it after this video and I'm taking my time because my stepdad's still talking to me and it is what it is and I kind of show him you know the other side of the uh, junkyard and I was kind of looking for something with the junkyard because there was some old cars that were sunk in in the mud but I wasn't able to uh, actually find it partially because I had to stay in the shade because I could barely see my phone and then also partially because I was distracted and uh, well he wanted to see other things and I guess you guys would probably want to see other things too so at this point I'm actually over the house across the street and I'm working on landing and that's why I'm looking straight down is because I'm bringing it down a little bit so I can actually see it because well the sun's in my eyes and it still looks kind of obscure from above but it doesn't look so bad but now I actually have eye contact with it so I'm starting to guide it around what is there and I can see that tree and I can see the garage and like I said you can see the back of my stepdad's pickup truck and he doesn't have anything in it but well he's not hauling anything then that's a picnic table that is probably older than me and my dad built it my mom uses it for her gardening so that's what you see there and we're getting closer of course you can see the hose and at this point you can see the house but I don't think you see me at all in this entire flight so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this if you want to see my other drone flights you can check out that video there or you can if you want to see what I'm like when I'm angry you can check out that video there as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I wouldn't do this without you. I'll see all my friends later.